Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to show you a way of cleaning up your faulty assets or your missing assets uh, from previous content uh, in, uh, for example, Trains 12, you're bringing a route over to uh, Tain and you might not have the source for that content to fix it up, to get to uh, fix the faults up. Uh, there's a, a couple of different ways you can, you can do it and we're going to show you uh, them now. So what you've got is you've got Trains 12 here. If we just load up Trains 12 into Content Manager and we're going to work with uh, a pre-existing uh, route that we've made and I'll show you that in a second. And we've just downloaded a uh, Speedtree 5 tree which I know does not work in Tain because it's version uh, 5 whereas you have to have version 6 trees in Tain. So this asset is free on the download station and it doesn't work in Tain, but it does work in Trains 12. So if we launch the uh, game and we select our route that we made, I called it, uh, what did I call it? Where are we? No, no, there we go. Faulty asset test. So we edit the route. And in Trains 12, I've just put a bunch of trees around. Uh, and this tree in particular is the one that's from the DLS I downloaded. Nice looking tree. Uh, it's free to download. It's a version 5 tree and it will not work in, in Tain. So I've, I've put a fair few around. I've also put a few other trees around that are built in that will... Uh, work in Tain because there's there's version 6 trees of these in Tain so they will show up but these bigger trees where there's a lot of them these won't show in the uh, in the move when we go to Tain so anyway I've saved this out you can see you've seen what the route looks like I'll exit that we'll go back to content manager there's my route there's the downloaded tree from the download station but I just need the route so I'll open that up uh, edit an explorer and I will bring up Tain. This is Tain's content manager. I'll drop my route in there. So it's all happy that it's imported. I'm filtering on installation date so that this one comes up. Faulty asset test is a route and it has missing dependencies. So I go and list the dependencies of those. And it says it's missing that uh, download station asset, which is the tree. It says you can download it. So I go to download it. Uh, and I'm sure people have experienced this. And the asset itself is now installed from the download station, but it's faulty. When we right click and do view errors, uh, you can see that it says unsupported speed tree version. So there's uh, no way of getting this asset to work unless you're the creator and you want to export it as a version six speed tree. So if, if you're not the creator and you don't have the source, uh, especially for speed tree items. This will work for anything, but we're just doing a speed tree example today. What you're going to do is you'll want to get another uh, s another similar asset on the download station and, or one that you may have, and you're going to increase the version number. You're going to copy this code and put it in the asset that does work and increase the version number. The reason we're doing that is because if you load the route up with the faulty uh, asset, You'll find that the route will load fine, but you'll be missing those uh, assets that are faulty. So see we're missing those trees, the big trees, uh, and trains have said they're faulty. The others have come across fine because there are version 6 trees of these, uh, but we're missing those other trees. And we can't actually click on them, which is, uh, which is the problem of replacing them. We can't actually get uh, them into the game. And even if we look for... I think it was M, there's the tree there. And we go file, bulk replace, and we put that tree in there. And let's replace it with uh, some houses, whatever that may be. And we go begin. One or more items in the target list do not match. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably correct. Um, I'm not actually sure that is correct. It should allow me to do that if it wasn't faulty, I believe. Let's just put a tree in there just to make sure. Put that one in there. So they're both trees. Begin. 
yet. So one or more items in the target list do not match the item type to replace with, the invalid items will not be updated. So because that's faulty, it won't actually update and put uh, the other object I want to replace it with around. So you can't use that tool yet. Uh, we are making improvements on this. Uh, I'm not sure when they'll be ready, but to get around this, what you can do though is exit the game, uh, find your your faulty asset, and it's I know it's a Speed Tree version six. I'm going to get this cord from the download station because I know uh, which cord I'm going to be replacing with, and it's uh, another tree, a Speed Tree from um, RMM. Some quite good trees that he's made, and I'll download that, and it's a Speed Tree six. And because it's from the download station, I'll be able to edit the source of that. So you can see that's now installed and it's not faulty. And we'll just preview that. So that's the tree there. And what I can do is I can open both of these for edit. So one's faulty and one's not. And I'll just jump into Explorer. And I'll get the keyword of the faulty one, 313 version 1. So I get the keyword. Then I go to the one that's not faulty, which is 320 version 2. And I copy the faulty keyword into this uh, asset that's not faulty and increase the version number to 2. Save that asset. So now this one has this keyword but version 2 and I can drag that back in. And it's now installing version 2 of the faulty asset. Which is not really, it's not going to look anything like the faulty asset. But it means I can edit it in Surveyor and replace it with something else. So you can see that it's now uh, oh, it made this uh, faulty one obsolete. And version 2 now is not faulty and therefore my route is not faulty because it's found a new version of that tree that's not faulty. And it's, it's a temporary fix that we're doing. It's a temporary thing at the moment so we can fix it. So now we load up the route since there isn't anything faulty. Edit route. And now you can see that that tree is in the position of all the uh, faulty trees. And that makes it handy now because what I can do, if you've got uh, another tree you wanted to replace it with, obviously you could you could leave it that way. If it was your content, you obviously can't uh, put your keyword on other people's content, so that wouldn't be appropriate. But it allows you to now in game have it visible, so you can make different changes. You might uh, now want to uh, move them around. You might want to delete them one by one, uh, or in here, you can just do a uh, bulk replace now with that uh, new asset. So we dump that in there, and you might want to choose something else to replace it with. Uh, maybe one of these will do. And we go bulk replace, and that actually now works. So it's not the best tree to replace it with, but you can see that you can now uh, get your routes not being faulty. You can now save that out. And that's one way of getting rid of the faulty assets in your routes that you bring across. Uh, the Another way of doing it, if you didn't want to uh, go through and replace each of those assets with, uh, with something else, is we'll just delete that one. We'll revert these ones back. So we've got an original. So now the, uh, the faulty asset test route is still faulty because our version 5 speed tree is now back in play. What you can do, if you don't uh, care about those assets and you just want to wipe them from your route so it's not faulty, you can edit the route. You can go File, Delete Missing Assets. Uh, this will remove all missing assets from the route session. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. So now it's deleted the uh, faulty assets and it's still saying they're faulty because what we need to do is save this out again. I'm just going to save it as a new route. Just go one. And when we save that out, we'll exit the game, you'll see in Content Manager there's a new route called Test 1. 
There it is. And it's no longer faulty because if you list the dependencies of test one versus the dependencies of the original, you can see there that uh, that faulty asset has now been removed for, as a dependency. So it's, it's removed from the route. You uh, don't have it in the route anymore. So keep in mind that that uh, won't allow you to edit it any further if you do that method, but it does clear out any of the faulty uh, dependencies for that route. So there's just two ways of updating your routes. If you don't have the source content to update the, the uh, asset itself, you can replace it with one that does work and then go further with, uh, with that by fixing it up so you can actually see it in Surveyor. Remember, you can't put your keywords on other people's content, so that it, you can't keep it like that, but it's a temporary way for you to see it in game if you're merging, moving them across, or you can get rid of them altogether with delete missing assets. So I hope that uh, helps some of you move some of your routes across to Tain. Thanks for watching.